What's up, guys? So a couple of short few days ago, the Android app, kind of a beta look, got pushed out onto Windows 11. If you're on the Insider Preview running the beta channel, you can actually do this right now. And if you get all this stuff going, you're going to find out that you can, in fact, run Android apps on your Windows device. However, in this preview, there are very few apps that are available in the Amazon App Store that you have access to. So what I'm going to do here today so I'm going to walk you through how to sideload a new app store that will give you access to many, many, many more apps. So again, first thing you got to do is make sure you're on the beta channel for Windows Insider. I'm going to do a picture and picture here with my Surface Pro 7 that I'm going to be running this on. And the first thing, like I said, you're going to want to do is go into your settings, go over to update. And down here it says Windows Insider Program. Make sure you're signed up for that and make sure that you are in the beta channel, which is you can see there that is there. Once that's done, you can actually just go to the Microsoft Store and you just want to search for Amazon App Store. It actually doesn't show up for me anymore because it's already installed. Kind of weird, but you should see it there. Just install that. It's going to run you through some options. And then it should be installed. At that point, the next thing you need to do is you're going to hit start and search for Windows Subsystem for Android. Go ahead and launch that app. And from here, you're going to look for developer mode and you're going to go ahead and turn that on. OK, so at this point, you're going to click on the link in the description and you're going to download that link here. Let me go back and click that again so that you see nice and easy. Download SDK platform tools for Windows. You have to accept uh, this agreement here. Go ahead and let that download. And once it is done, you can go ahead and extract it here. Once that is done, you're going to go into that platform tools folder. Go ahead and click up there in the address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. That's going to open up a, a command line, so to speak, in this location, which is what you need. Now, at this point, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to see here where it says IP address and you're going to have an IP address. That's good. If you have that, skip this next step. If you don't have that, you're going to have to click on Manage Developer Settings. You're going to scroll down to Wireless Debugging. Click on that, and that's going to be your address. Now, in your command line, you could also type ADB Devices, and that's also going to give you the, that IP address. At this point, you're going to type in ADB Connect, and then type in that IP address. However you got it, just type that in and hit Enter. We are now connected. So the app I'm going to be installing, the store I'm going to be installing is called the Aurora Store. So go ahead and download that APK file through the link in the description. We're going to go ahead and download that now. Once that's done back in your command line, you're going to type in ADB install. Now we're going to take that APK we just downloaded. We're going to move it into that platform tools folder where that dot that adb file is where we've opened up this command line we're going to copy that into there we're going to copy the name of that apk paste that in and hit enter and it should begin to install that file at that point when you hit start you should see down here at the bottom the aurora store is in fact installed let's open this thing up we are up and running let's hit next we're going to accept their terms of service I don't think we need to change anything there. We're just going to hit next and move on. Next. Uh, let's go with a nice blue color for the accent. Let's grant our permissions here to make sure that this can function. And let's hit finish. And what we have now is an app store running on Windows 11 with a much, much larger selection of apps that should all pretty much work. Let's go to the top charts. Let's go to TikTok. We'll install it. Go ahead and hit install in that pop up. And again, in your start menu, there is TikTok installed running in a nice little window running really, really well. Let's get logged in and I'll show you how well it does work. And there you go. Let's play a video here. Everything's working just fine. That is TikTok running on Windows 11. And most of these apps, a lot of these apps are going to work. Some of them are not going to work because they're going to require the Google Play services. So some of them are going to work. Some of them are not going to work. You're going to have to just experiment and see what you want to do more specifically. But all in all, that's a pretty darn good experience. And I'm quite impressed with how it does work. Guys, thanks for stopping by for this one. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for some of you. Stay tuned for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.